Hello everyone, this is Sumoy, HOD IMB Department, BJB Autonomous College. As far as my experience is concerned, I am 16 years experience in my belt. In 16 years, I have worked with the corporates like SDFC Bank, ICC Bank and uh, other some of the organizations. Whereas, I went to academics uh, since uh, 8 years I have been there. And I welcome you to Odisha State Open University. Here, uh, let us discuss about something about uh, marketing management. And uh, today I will discuss about very interesting topic called selling versus marketing. Friends, you might have heard about selling in number of times or marketing number of times. In common people, they believe that uh, selling is equal to marketing and marketing is equal to selling. But in fact, it is not true. It's a myth. But the fact is, selling is a very small part and marketing is a bigger part. And uh, uh, marketing where we have to do a number of things and selling is a very small part. And many of the companies, they believe without uh, marketing, they cannot grow. You know very well that uh, in a particular organization, marketing department is one department which generates revenue. Of course, selling is very important and a very significant part of the marketing. So let's compare, let's discuss what are the differences between the selling and marketing point wise. Friends, let's discuss about the differences between selling and marketing. The first point, in selling, company manufacture a product first. They never go for identification of the needs of the customer. They man manufacture. But in case of marketing, it doesn't happen. In case of marketing, company goes for the identification or explore of uh, the needs and wants as well as taste and preference of the customers. Then, according to that, they manufacture a product. In second point, in selling, just selling merely it is a process of uh, conversion of the product into cash. What a seller exactly he does? It just uh, makes a sale of a product to make it conversion into the cash or it is a liquidification. But in case of marketing, it's a process of conversion of the customer needs and wants into a product. That means a company goes for identification of the customer's needs and wants and it is converted or it is translated into the product which can satisfy their needs, which can fulfill the needs of the society as an individual as well as an organization. And third point, seller or a product that commands the universe of the total process where Customer doesn't have any space. A seller, he commands or a product. That means there is uh, no scope for customers' needs and wants or tests and preferences. But in case of marketing, customer is the king. He makes everything. He commands the market. He commands the product. According to that, universe is made. Let us go to the next point where you might have seen that uh, in case of selling, some people, they will come to you and uh, make a push sell. You remember push sell, where it is just a push strategy. Just like making a sell by pushing, but in case of marketing, push strategy doesn't work. It is rather a pull strategy, where a company wants by the marketing program, people or customers, they will be attracted towards the company's products or they will be pulled towards the uh, company's product and the sale is made. This is a difference. Again, in case of selling, it's a very important point. You have to remember cost that decides the price or we can say that whatever the cost seller is uh, bearing, or it is borne by the seller that will decide what price or what is the selling price of product in a particular market. But in case of marketing, it is, you know, totally, you know, unimaginable. 
you can see that customer will decide the price and the price that decides the cost my friends can you remember the magical car of india nano how it was conceptualized let's a small thing about that uh ratan tata was a pioneer of or who is uh, conceptualized the concept of the nano in fact in india we'll find the uh, more of the people or most of the people they are from the lower middle class or middle class what does it mean all those people they cannot afford cars friends you know very well that uh, for a common man after house a car is the second most desired position most of the people they want a car but it is not affordable because all the cars they come around 4 to 5 lakhs it is not possible so in case of nano it was seen that a very common man or you can say lower middle class people they can afford up to 70 to 80 thousand for a bike so they can go up to 1 lakh or more than that for a car in that case you know it is just conceptualize is it possible to have a car within 1 lakh and it was really dream came true for the many indians and that happened here 1 lakh is the cost that means if customer is willing to pay 1 lakh rupees or more than 1 lakh rupees then here customer decides the price and here price decides the cost so it is the example of the iconic car nano next uh, go to the uh, next point it is just like uh, it's selling it is sales volume oriented or we can say it's a very short run oriented it is not a long process it is only oriented or involved towards the sales volume a seller is more concerned about uh, how many uh, products how many units are sold in a particular month or particular week or particular day they will not bother about uh, whether it has good bad or anything it is just like the thinking about whether the product is converted to cash or not but in case of marketing they do not bother about uh, the sales volume first they bother about the profit that means marketing is profit oriented rather than sales volume oriented as well as a marketing process is very long term it is not the short term you might have seen that uh, in case of jio jio had a marketing plan not a sales plan and uh, before launching they have worked for the jio for the last 2 to 3 years and suddenly they jumped into the market and you know that uh, jio brought a storm in the total telecom sector even idea doesn't have the idea that uh, what would happen to them after launching of the jio but it had happened so always uh, marketing is long term oriented as well as it is only involved towards the profit or long term profit as well as it involved about the survival of a company in a long run not like just uh, sold today and uh, let's perish or we'll think about uh, tomorrow other, otherwise uh, number of things so that is the fact let's move on to the next uh, point where selling in the total process customer is viewed as the last link that means if a particular object particular article is sold then seller is not bothered to whom he had sold just it is sold forgotten after that it is consumed not consumed or feedback nothing will come but here customer is viewed as a last link in the process but uh, in contrast to that in the marketing you'll find that the total process customer views as the first link my friends confused let me clear about that here customer is the first link that means a company starts its program of marketing with a particular customer what a customer thinks 
what a customer expects, what a customer really needs, that is the point. So, with the if we take the example of the cell phones, why cell phone came? And before that we had uh, landlines, but the problem was we cannot stay connected 24 into 7. And for that reason, because it was a necessary, by identifying those needs, the cell phone was there. And here company wants to know what kind of need a customer is having or society is having and according to that they will manufacture and from that it is a first link from where a particular product is initiated or conceptualized. Friends next move on to the next topic selling the process believes to remain in the existing technology to reduce cost. In case of selling, they will not bother about uh, for the innovation or the greater benefit of the customer. They will simply bother about the conversion of the product into cash. But in case of marketing, always they believed how to go with the innovation to increase customer satisfaction. That means the day by day you'll find and uh, in recent past you might have seen that uh, technology has been changing very rapidly. The point is uh, every company in a very cutthroat competition, every company is having that kind of uh, attitude to make a breakthrough product into the market where they can serve, they can own, they can attract more customer than their competitors and here a company goes for the innovation to increase customer satisfaction rather than conversion into cash. Friends, next point says selling is just a subset of marketing. Then marketing is a bigger process which consists of the number of subsets including selling. So uh, this is uh, all about selling versus marketing those points uh, I hope uh, it would be instrumental in your career you'll remember and uh, you'll not go into that fact uh, that kind of myth where you'll feel that selling is synonymous to marketing that is not the fact I've already given the points you'll take into the your notes thank you very much